Hey everybody, Joe Walden here and in this video I'm going to show you the basic boilerplate code block that I use in probably 90 percent of my server work that I do on the job and also here at home. I start out with a server list and I, I create the list in Excel just because it's convenient. I have a header here and the header here is a selected description IP and name. These are the naming convention for each column, okay? And in the selected column, I put a an X here to show which servers are selected. And the reason for that is is, is I'm, I want to only work on those servers, all right? So I've got the IP addresses, I've got the server names. And what I do is then after I get this all done here, I just come up and save as and open up this uh, drop-down box here and select comma delimited and save it and I'll open up uh, PowerShell here and, and show you how I'm using those servers uh, that list of servers there so let's put some code in here if you notice it's very sparse this is like I say this is just the boilerplate here uh, the f first line I clear the screen so that my PowerShell window is clear of any uh, any garbage from the previous runtime and then in this line number two I'm taking a variable here called servers and I'm running the import CSV commandlet to import the server list that I created in Excel okay then once I, I created it in Excel I take each server I mean I go through each item in the server list and I call them server each server in servers <laughs> just for convenience there and I say if if the server dot selected here's where we're using that column there equals X then go ahead and do something with it that's it that's the basic part of it now uh, if I run it right now you'll notice nothing really happened right but actually what happened is servers is listed into memory now so if I type a dollar so there's a good indication that it's in memory because it's um, shows up here on the telesense so if I just hit enter there's all the servers that were listed okay so it loaded everything into memory all of the servers even the ones that aren't selected and here if I want to I can go ahead and let's say I want to write the selected servers out okay so write host.server.name and you'll notice too if I just put the dot here there's my properties of my server object a description IP a name and whether it's selected okay so I want to print out all the server uh, that names when I run this now there's all the names here show up so you can see uh, that it only picked the items that were selected and that's basically it uh, uh, to give you a, a, an idea of how I use this uh, look at another video and uh, and get an idea from well, I think uh, the next video in line here is uh, check in DNS. So look at that one and you'll see a very simplified version that I'm going to build on the uh, properties that are being checked and that kind of stuff. Uh, so you get a good idea what's, what I'm doing. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.